Hi, my name is Mike Antoniadis and I'm the Performance Director of the Running School. Today I'm going to talk to you about running tips, but also about running technique. So if you want to prepare for long distance running, you've got to take into account three or four very important factors. The first thing is that you've got to go out and practice, practice, practice. So you've got to get the mileage in your legs. You've got to know what you're trying to achieve. So whether it's a time or it's a distance for you. So if we look at running a half marathon or a marathon, half marathon is about 20,000 steps and a marathon is about 44,000 steps. So if you can become more efficient by one centimeter per step, stop yourself from breaking and restarting during your run, that will make you faster and it would also cause less injuries. Recovery is very important when you're running long distances. You, the body cannot maintain running long volumes and, and high intensity continuously over seven to 10 days. So the recovery is very important. Every three days you need to rest, do something different, do some strength work, do some flexibility work, and then start again. You're working in small blocks of seven days. So you work three days, you rest one day, you work three days, you rest one day. Kit is equally very important because you've got to be comfortable running for hours. So the shoes that you wear, you've got to practice in training and see if they're the right ones. Go and get your feet tested and see, and your running technique tested, and see if, what type of shoes you feel you can run in. A lot depends on whether you're a forefoot runner, a midfoot runner, or a heel toe runner. So the footwork that you pick is very important. Also, the shorts and the vest. One of the, the problems with running a marathon over three, four, five hours is you get a lot of chaffing. So the kit that you wear, you've got to be used to wearing it for long periods of time. If we look at this endurance runner, he has, he's got similar posture to the middle distance runner, but if you notice, the arms are working less fast because we want to get a rhythm, and the heels are coming up, but we, they're not coming up too high because it's hard to maintain over a long distance. But the posture is still upright, and he's got a rhythm to his running. Our endurance runner is breathing less heavily than our middle distance runner because they're working at, at slower speeds. So when we're talking about long distance running, you've got to plan your program, you've got to plan your recovery days, you've got to look at your kit and plan that as well, and treat every Sunday like a race day. 